Now, as we have been hearing, just one in seven people turned out to vote to elect the police crime commissioner. Salford and Eccles MP Hazel Blears joins us now in the studio. Hi, Hazel. Thanks for coming in. So were you shocked at this poor uh, turnout then? I wasn't overly shocked. Uh, if you think about it, on a cold, dark November night for elections which are brand new, that people are not quite sure what the police commissioner is going to do. Um, but nevertheless, a 13% turnout is very, very poor indeed. So in light of this, what do you think should have been done differently? Well, first of all, I would like to have seen more information about all the candidates. Uh, obviously, as a Labour person, I've been busy putting out leaflets for our Labour candidate, but I've seen virtually nothing from the others. Um, and I do think that the election should have been held at a time with other elections going on, so that people are not having to turn out on just simply for this election. I think that would have made a big difference. Mm -hmm. So with such a, a low turnout, do you think this will, uh, will actually carry any weight at all? Well, I think it is important that there is some accountability for the police. Uh, they spend uh, many millions of pounds of public money, and therefore mm. I hope that the new police and crime commissioner, um, who I hope will be Tony Lloyd uh, when we get the result <laughs> later on today, uh, will actually make quite a big difference. Um, he will be able to ensure that we take antisocial behaviour seriously, uh, that we crack down on, on burglary, the crimes that really matter to people, uh, and that we keep our neighbourhood policing teams out on the streets. I think that's very important. So more good news, though, for Labour, uh, because the by-election in Manchester, in Manchester Central was uh, you know, particularly good, so maybe if you could just you know, comment on that. Well, I, I know Lucy Powell, the candidate, um, personally very well. I think she'll be an excellent Member of Parliament for Manchester Central. Uh, she's young, she's bright, um, and I think that she'll be a real champion uh, for those people, so I'm delighted at that result. Now, you've been visiting the um, uh, University and Media City UK today, so what does it mean to have a media centre for innovation on your constituents' doorstep? It's absolutely brilliant. Um, 10, 15 years ago, this was just a, an idea uh, that many of us in the city had. And we really had to fight hard to make sure that the BBC came out of, Man out of London uh, and into the north. And it's just proved to be a fantastic success. Uh, and now that we've got the new campus for the, the university, uh, we've got lots of independent producers, ITV are come in. There's a real sense of energy about the place. And I spoke to one student as mm -hmm. we went into the press conference. And I said, why have you come here? And he said, well, it was the last university on my list for the open day. He said, now walk through the doors. And I was completely, totally sold. So, you know, it's a real attraction for the city and it will produce some of the finest journalists of the future, I have no doubt. Thank you very much, Hazel. Thanks for coming in. Okay. Thank you.